Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. Um, I, I couldn't believe when I heard this, so I, I had to play it back and so you can hear it. Um, it's from Prime Minister's Question Time on the 17th of March 2021. Um, <laughs> it just made me laugh the way that... So this, this the MP, I think it's from Birmingham, is asking about the 1% pay rise that the government wants to give to the NHS to say thank you, 1%. Uh, um, and they're saying that they've said that this is all the money they can give, despite the country being. Uh, I was surprised to find out that the the UK is two trillion in debt. Two trillion. I mean, if you were that much debt, another million, two million, ten million. I, I don't think you know. They're saying this is all the money we can afford, but they're two trillion in debt. I, I mean. <laughs> They don't seem to be managing money very well. It's lucky they're not a, a human being like us because we would be chucked out having that kind of debt. That's amazing, really. I mean, is there any country that's actually profitable, any country that's not in debt? We're always taught, you know, you shouldn't, shouldn't get into debt and things like that and, you know, manage your um, uh, money. But they're allowed to just print money or borrow money. God knows how much money they owe to who and what that means. But anyway, getting back to this thing. He says that, um, you know, why they're being economical with the truth. They're you know, lying. Um, and then the, the the leader of the House says that no MP would lie or try to mislead anyone. What? As if they're not human beings. All human beings have the capacity to lie. How can you say that MPs uh, uh, could could never lie or mislead someone? And especially when we all know in our recent history, Tony Blair, MP, the leader of the Labour Party at the time, lied to the British people and to the world with his uh, lies about the weapons of mass destruction, the 45 minutes, although, yes, he was given a dossier that he read out. But, I mean, we all knew that they were lies from the beginning. So, and there's been lots of politicians that have lied when it comes to their expenses, the expense scandal, loads of examples. I think that's uh, it's astonishing that he had the gall to say such a lie that MPs couldn't lie or mislead. <laughs> when they, they give out money to friends and contracts and all that kind of business, you know. Come on, please, don't insult us by... Oh, it's just unbelievable, yeah, but just listen to this, and then we have to vote for these people and trust them when they're making out that they're somehow gods. Tahir Halle. Throughout the last year, NHS staff have been working tirelessly to keep our communities healthy and safe during the pandemic. Mr Speaker, I would like to ask the Prime Minister, why has he been economical with the truth when he says that a 1% pay increase is all the government can afford. Can, can I just say no honourable member on any side would actually mislead or lie to the House, but I'm sure the Prime Minister could answer something. Thank you, Mr Speaker. No, I, I, I'm, I'm grateful for your clarification, because um, what, what we're doing is we're saying that we so value the incredible contribution of nurses to our country over the last year or more, uh, that we want them, uh, exceptionally of all the public services, uh, to be looked at uh, for, a, for a pay increase at a time of real uh, difficulty in the public finances, which I think people do understand. Now, uh, that's on top of the 12.8% the increase in starting salary for nurses, plus the, uh, the, the £5,000 bursary and the £3,000 that we've given for uh, special help for, uh, for childcare and, 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 and other training needs. And which actually are leading, if he looks at the figures, uh, they're leading to a, a big increase in the number of nurses uh, in, in the NHS, 10,600 more this year than last year, more nurses in the NHS and 60,000 more in training. And when I talk to nurses, what they want, uh, you know, of course they, everybody wants better pay and conditions, I totally understand that. But what they also want is an extra pair of hands next to them to give them the help and reassurance they need. And that's what we're recruiting. The kick. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So you heard it, yeah? MPs would never lie or mislead in the House of Commons. So 
I mean, is he expecting us to believe such a statement when we all know human beings lie and have the capacity to lie? And yet, so by saying that MPs would not lie and don't have the capacity to lie, are they not human? Are they somehow better than us? <laughs> it's just... I mean, I know it's a game, but I mean, my God, that's just unbelievable. I mean, you try, I mean, the MPs are some of the some of the things that they've done over the past, the 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 power that they've given and misused, the suffering that continues to this day while they sit on their seats and do nothing about it but pontificate and talk about it endlessly, paper after paper, delay after delay. And they can have the gall to say that they're it, it is it, incapable of them to lie or mislead. <laughs> Disband it. I mean, come on. <laughs> Just, I mean, it is anarchic the way that the government's run anyway. This stupid back and forward of, you know, sc score pointing and um, flag waving, you know, trying to. Uh, not answer questions and just, you know, divide when it comes to arguing, not actually ever getting anything done when anything important is, they just bat it away. I mean, it's pointless exercise. Anyway, yeah, I just had to, I just couldn't believe it when I heard that MPs can't lie and, or mislead. Well, we've got them all wrong. Take care, take easy, complex, and peace.